guys. This episode will be more like an activity session. All these OPI gel color set. Um, but of course, as some of the products has gone bad, I have to replace it with the base coat and top coat replacement from Neo. It's called Neo Image. I bought this from the online e-commerce platform. I have used it once and I find that the result is almost like when I was using the other brands. So that's why I am featuring these on my channel here. Let's get this started by getting to know the products on my table. Of course, I have the Harmony gel LED light machine here and also the set of gel color product by OPI. As you can see, the color series here, Alpine Snow. I have an additional bottle of this. And then the others are the same as the box. And you can have a look over here. This is Alpine Snow. This is Passion. Lincoln Park, After Dark. Funny Bunny. This is interesting. Strawberry Margarita. It turns out really lovely. And I actually like this color because of the name. It says I'm not really a waitress. <laughs> So imagine what kind of color it is. Finally, we have this Kajun Stream color. It's slightly orangey, but it has a very glowy, sunshine kind of feel. And of course, I have the OPI Bondaid. It serves as a pH balancing agent to maximize the adhesive power of the gel polish. It is in a slightly matte bottle and of course I have some tools like the cuticle pushing tip and also the dotting tool for some patterns there's a fine tip and a slightly blunt tip over here and of course some brush buffing and also some sparkly. Before proceeding to applying the gel nail polish, this was the previous nail polish from OPI. It's the basic nail polish. So what I have to do is just to remove the residue with the normal nail polish remover. So I'll get rid of this before I proceed to the next step. This is the kind of facial puff that I'm using. You can see that from the packaging, it says it's a air laid facial puff. It's really thin and it has very good absorption power. So you, when, when you pour onto any kind of liquid, it absorbs it and holds it very well without wasting too much onto the normal facial puff that we used to have. Um, for those, sometimes it would be a little bit wasteful to use those because the liquid absorbed onto it will be evaporated really fast. But this is the kind that holds it really well, gets the job done and reduces wastage. What I'm using is just the normal nail polish remover. So I'll get this part done. Prior to this, I have already cleaned my nail polish off from my nails. And I will just lightly buff it and make sure the surfaces are matte slightly matte so that after applying the bonnet and also the gel polish it will get stuck on it nicely without peeling off easily it's just a basic buffing rough surface so I'll just make it do this to 
to rough the surfaces a little bit, not too much. Yep, as you can see, it's here. So I'll do the same to all the fingers. And applying bonnet on it. I'm just trying to adjust the angle so that I could video it. I'll just repeat the same to the 10 fingernails and come back again. So this is the base coat that I'm going to apply. I'll just use this tiny finger as example. Apply a very thin layer of base coat. And you can put it under the light to cure it. of timer, there are three timings duration that you can choose 5 seconds, 20 seconds or 30 seconds adjust it and uh, and then you can read the timer that is already set over here and I will cure the base coat with 30 seconds put in my fingers and then it will go on and then we'll just wait for 30 seconds when the timer is complete you will hear a beeping sound. Alright, so that is 30 seconds. The base coat is done and we'll proceed with the color. This is this gel color from OPI. The shade is called Passion and you can see that the color is slightly yellowish. I would call it beige, but let's see what turns out. Layer. When you're using gel nail polish, you don't really have to worry that much if there's tiny streaks of um, polish that is going slanted or not aligned to the nails because after curing it under the LED light, it will basically go smooth in and glossy. It is already really glossy as you can see now. The first layer, you can barely see the color. But usually after applying the second layer, you will see a clearer color on it. Now we'll just wait for the beeping. Okay, now let's see. This is the first layer, I can barely see the color. But it is really shiny. Okay, let's try out the second layer. Two layers of passion. I still find it a little bit too beige uh, or too nude for me, for my liking. But um, I'll put it under the light and see what difference would it have. I don't really like the color effect of passion on my nails it looks slightly yellowish as you can see over here i've decided to swap into funny bunny this is funny bunny a layer of funny bunny on top of two layers of passion i'll put it into the light so here i am on the second layer of this alpine snow white shade of base color you can prep it and then use it as the background for any kind of nail art that you want to do. I like Alpine Snow more than Passion. Let me put this under the light and then we'll come back. After experimenting all kinds of patterns and also the shiny flake, this is the final step to apply the top coat on it and then to cure it for the final last round. This is the top coat that I'm using this round. I will apply it onto all the artwork that I have done to seal up all the surfaces and also the flaky sparkly parts so that it doesn't peel off easily. And I'll apply the top coat on it. I'll repeat the same for all the fingernails. After curing it with the top coat, let's have a look 
And what I have here, these are Lincoln Park. If I apply the flaky glitter on top, this is how it turns out. And if I leave it almost opaque, this will be the color. The other colors over here, this is Alpine Snow. Alpine Snow is this. It is a very clean white base color. It's good for any kinds of artwork. So here is what I have done on the other two nails. I have the polka dot design. I use, I'm not really a waitress, this color. And did some abstract art on it. And similarly for this dotted pattern, the polka dot combining the two colors, this is what I get. Initially, I started off with passion and this is how it looks like. It looks almost yellowish, but then because I don't really like the yellowish effect, I have added a layer of funny bunny to make it whiter and basically to cover up the yellowish base from passion and let's have a look on what i've done this is the glitter effect i use a little bit of lincoln pop after dark with a dotting tool this is how i created a slight marble effect this is the marble effect that I've done not too obvious so this is the marble pattern that I've done on my nails on passion two layers of passion and one layer of funny bunny and a tiny dot of Lincoln Park after dark these are what I have and then I've added the glitters on it. Moving on to the other two. This is the opaque. This is a very opaque result of just applying Lincoln Park after dark. And then I did some zebra, abstract zebra, I'll call it. It's not the nicest zebra print, but this will do. These will do during the movement control order duration and that's all for today see you again until my nails chip off next <laughs> lastly remember to apply the cuticle oil it's RMK it was a free gift from RMK so it says not for sale but I like it because it's not too oily and it, it does the work just nice. Apply it to your cuticle after doing all this gel nail treatment. So that's all for today's activity with gel color by OPI. And if you like my content, do let me know by subscribing to my channel and also click like on this video and also if there's any suggestion or feedback feel free to comment at the comment section all right that's all for today see you again until my nails chip off next <laughs> thank you for watching